The past week saw foreign clothing brands such as H&M and Nike grabbing headlines in China. But this time, it's not part of their sometimes all too pervasive publicity campaign. It's because they're boycotting cotton from China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. The announcements have utterly outraged the Chinese public, making the whole issue politically sensitive and emotionally charged. Is there forced labor in Xinjiang? What is the truth? I'm Meng Zhang, and this is Xinhua Commentary. Hey, it's the 21st century, and it's a country that is capable of sending a rover up to the far side of the moon we are talking about. Does anybody really believe that the cotton industry in Xinjiang uses forced labor in this day and age, as white American landowners did in the 19th century? The truth is that cotton production in Xinjiang is more mechanized than you might have thought. As of 2020, nearly 70% of the region's cotton fields use the machinery to pick cotton during the harvesting season, making the large-scale use of manual labor a thing of the past. And in some parts of Xinjiang, the mechanization rate has reached 95%. The reason is simple. John Deere cotton harvesters and other brands of imported or homemade cotton pickers work much faster and much cheaper than picking by hand. As a result, seasonal migrant workers who flocked to Xinjiang from other parts of China have disappeared from Xinjiang cotton fields in recent years. In its statement, the fashion retailer H&M has mentioned an NGO, the Better Cotton Initiative. It says because the BCI has suspended licenses due to suspected forced labor in Xinjiang, H&M itself will follow suit. What's ironic is on March 26, the BCI's Shanghai representative office issued a statement saying it has never found a single case of forced labor in China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. Oops, looks like H&M is having a hard time. Anyway, in all seriousness, the so-called forced labor in Xinjiang from the onset is a fabricated malicious lie. Just as French journalist Maxime Vivas has said, Countless lies are being spread by people who have never been to Xinjiang. It's just one of the many lies currently being peddled by anti-China forces. Hey, it's not me being paranoid here. It's Lawrence Wilkerson, chief of staff to former U.S. Secretary of State Colin Powell, who literally said this. Well, the CIA would want to destabilize China, and that would be the best way to do it. To foment unrest and to join with those Uyghurs in pushing the Han Chinese and Beijing from internal places rather than external. Now you see how this Xinjiang game is being played out. The whole thing backs the question that for people like Mr. Wilkerson, who are never really fond of the Chinese nor of Muslims, how come they seem to take a particular interest in Chinese Muslims? That's indeed a good question. <laughs> 